Well, the buzz around the sphere keeps growing after its opening weekend, and our Ryan Ketchum spoke with people who were there for the grand opening and shares what that experience was really like. Just days ago, people from all over the world lined up right here behind me to get their first look at the new MSG Sphere. This venue is literally mind blowing. I, I don't even know the right words. It was so amazing. It was awesome. Not only did fans enjoy the U2 concert, but the special effects as well. All this numbers and colors and movement, it's just. I, I really, except mind blowing, I don't know, a speechless, whatever. This is really something that was never done in the world. Creating this new state of the art venue wasn't an easy task. It took five years and $2.3 billion to build, but fans say it was well worth it. This is just different. Financial analyst Steve Buden says the sphere being different from other Las Vegas venues with its state of the art sound system and the largest continuous LED screen in the world will help it become profitable. I think it'll be a lot easier for them to book talent than the other arenas. The sphere has several forms of revenue. U2 will host concerts there through December 16th with tickets on their website ranging from $500 to $1,400. They have the Sphere Experience Tour and shows starting at $49, and it has several business collaborations showcasing ads on the Exosphere, including their collaboration with DreamWorks, showcasing the new Trolls movie. Buden says he believes with all the forms of revenue, it won't take them long to recover. The entertainment business is very risky, but for them to recover their investment in three to five years wouldn't surprise me at all. U2 will play again this Thursday, but there's still no word yet on the news shows that the Sphere will host once U2 ends its residency on December 16th. Reporting from the Sphere, I'm Ryan Ketchum.